I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that, and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well, uh, thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly. Max doesn't have the, uh, uh -oh. time. <laughs> the Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. The Daguerrean process. He was a real visionary, not a hypocrite. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean that he actually created something. He didn't just take pictures of models and pretend they were art. I'm not sure I get the connection, but, uh, yes, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max has clearly read more into them than I have. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the... First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? 
Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson.